in the last video we have created the ladder programming for linking led project in today's video we will see how to design its hmi screen and do its simulation so let us start our dops of hmi software from here we will click on new file this is different models and its this is its resolution screen resolution size we will just select the basic one and here i will give name to our project Just press next button. Here there is the important setting. In the for communication, we have to select our simulator which I have created in my home GR. Press finish button. So such in interface will open. Now we need to visualize what are the things we want to show on screens. First of all, here I wanted one main start stop button. Here we want one output LED. Here we want increase and here a decrease button. And here I want to show value of on time. So data display. So first of all, I will create one start stop button from here. I will select maintain and I will draw one rectangular box like this. Just double click it and this dialog box will open. The first step is to write address over here. So start stop button I have connected at x0 position in PLC. So I will select x and 0 and press enter. So now this box represent the x0 terminal of PLC. Now we want to give picture over here. For that I will go on pictures. From here you can select a picture library. I will simply select this library vector switch to state. For the off condition I will select this image and click OK. But as you can see our image is not showing properly over here. For that I have to select stretch all. And now you can see on off and everything is visible. Now similarly we want to keep image for on condition. So again going in picture, select the same library. For the on condition I want to show this image. So select it and press OK button. Again it is not visible properly. So just click on stretch all. Now it is visible properly and click OK over here. So our main on off button is created. Now we want to show LED over here. For that we will go on indicator, select multi state indicator and just draw a rectangular box like this. Again double click it. Here we want to write address. So this is our output so I will select Y0 because I have connected my output at the Y0 of PLC. Click enter. When our output is on or off that will be represented in this box. So for on off condition I want to keep one picture. So again going in picture I will use this library delights. Here there is one lamp. I will select it for off condition. Again, if it is not visible properly, select stretch all from here. Now, if you want to remove this black color, just click yes in transparent and you can see our color is gone. But still there is gray color. If you want to remove this to go on main and from here foreground color, click white because our background is white. So now it is color is gone and background is also white. Similarly, we repeat these steps for 
on condition so again i will go to picture and for on condition i will use this library photo and i will stretch all remove my color and change my foreground color so my output is created its address is written its image is also created just click ok so my start button and output is created now i want increase button and decrease button over here for that we will go in buttons again here three button because we just want a pulse input output so i will select momentary and i will draw one box this time i want to create round buttons so double click it from style you can change it to round so now my buttons will be round first of all i have to write its address my increase button is x1 in my hardware connection so here also i will write x1 and press enter give picture i will go in picture and use the library modern button from here i will use this image for increase unpressed condition but you can see button over here for that we have to select stretch all now you can see button this steps for on condition means pressed condition so again i will go in modern button when the button is unpressed it will show like this and when i will press it will appear like this so just select this image and click okay again stretch all my button is visible just click okay so my increase button is created uh, just adjust this position similarly we want to create a stop button but i will just copy and paste it by control c and control v so that i don't have to size it and give its picture again i will just double click it don't forget to change its address this is our decrease button which is x2 now we want to change its image color only so i will click over here and i will select this for decrease button similarly for on condition we will change it to this button we click over here and our decrease button is also created adjust adjust its position like this so finally only one thing is remaining to display the value of on time for that we will use data display select numeric display because our data is numeric again we will draw one box we'll click on it first of all we will write address what i want to show i want to show my on time so what is on time that is data register d1 so i have selected d over here and one over here so d1 is my on time press enter from here you can select uh, border color so i will change my border color from here you can select background color so i will just select white from here you can change your data display so just click okay so my data display is also created all the elements are created let us give name so i will go to text box and draw a text box over here like this just double click over it go to text and here i will write start or stop because this is the function of this switch we will we can make it bold it leak or anything we can increase its size and and change its font from here right now i will just click on okay but you can't see it text properly over here for that you need to increase the box size now it's visible similarly we will just control c and control v control means copy paste it and give labels to other equipments
I will just rename that by going in double click text and rename it like this is our LED. Click OK. Uh, if you want to make it align its center, just click over here and now it is aligned in center. Similarly, here double click over it, go to text. Here we will write increase, click OK. Again, if you want to align center, just click over here. Similarly, we will change here and write decrease. Press OK. Again, align in center. Finally, here we this is our own time. So just write on time. Click OK. Again, align it in center. So friends, we have successfully created our HMI screen. Now it's time to simulate our program. For that, first of all, go to ISP soft software. This programming we have created in our last video. First of all, compile it. There are no any error or warning. So we will download it in our simulator from here. Click on transfer button and now let's click OK over here because my PLC was running in last step. Now my transfer is completed. Just click OK. Close it. Now we will go to online mode. So now my PLC is, I mean my simulator is running and it is in online mode. Don't forget to on this bit otherwise you will get communication error while doing simulation so from our programming side we are done again i will open my hmi software here i will first of all compile my project so compilation is successful there are no any errors now i will click on this button this we use when we are doing simulation without hardware plc so just click on it offline simulation as you can see my hmi screen is loaded first of all let me scroll it from here i will open my hmi screen so as you can see here my plc in run mode and my default time period is already moved to data register d0 whenever I will own this. My LED will start blinking. So let us see. As you can see, it is blinking with a time period of two seconds and on period of one second. For one second, it is on and one second, it is off. Now let me scroll this down. It's my screen. It is blinking. When I will press this button, here you can see the value of D0 will increase. So just let me press it. As you can see, our total time is increased by one second. That is now three seconds. And you can also see on time is also increased by 0.5 seconds. If I keep increasing, so my total time is 6 seconds and my own time is 3 seconds. So 1, 2, 3. You can see my own time is now 3 seconds. Similarly, when I will press this decrease button, my total time will decrease by 1 second and my own time will decrease by 0.5 seconds. Let me show you. As you can see, first it was 69, now it is 50. And on time is also reduced by 0.5 seconds. Let me reduce it more. It has come to our original state where on time is 1 second. So friends, this was all about our project increase or de decrease the blinking rate of LED by push buttons. So friends, if you like this video, 
शो योर इंटरेस्ट बाय लाइकिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल